so many different signs with so many different messages. But the fact is, as any thinking person can figure out, although this often does not include uh, media anchor people on the networks and stuff, that there are a heck of a lot of different reasons why one would want to protest uh, the Republican National Committee, uh, not just one reason. So it's not an issue of people being confused, it's an issue of, being, of just the opposite, actually. And uh, there's a lot of examples of the confluence of the different things that we would be protesting about, such as, for example, the problem with uh, um, capitalism, uh, its impact on paying workers shit wages and uh, destroying the environment at the same time. You know, this is uh, how it works. You know, so there's a lot of a lot of common ground there and to to work with. And um, one example is uh, what the Valdez oil spill did to the fishing industry of Alaska, which was basically destroy much of it. And uh, that's what it's also done to the industry of uh, fishing industry in, in in the Gulf. Not to mention causing so many people to be hospitalized and get sick and die. All for what? So British Petroleum doesn't have to use backup systems. So none of the oils get, have to do that, and that's corruption. That's called corruption. Political corruption, and both parties are very much engaged in it. I am a fisherman, so were my parents. Here in Cordova, on Prince William Sound. I'm not a tree hugger, but I love the mountains. And hauling in the gill net with the ocean all around. Life was good here. You could raise a family with a hundred thousand tons of herring set out every year. 1989, the tanker grounded. Nothing's ever been the same around here. Senator Stevens said, not one drop of oil would spill on Alaska's shores. And if it happened, it would be cleaned up. But our beaches were still covered, as was the ocean floor. Four years past, each run collapsed. It was then we knew for sure the herring weren't coming back. Exxon's promises of compensation were about as empty as a used up pier sack. August 20th, 1993, we fishermen decided something must be done. We packed some groceries, we made some banners, headed out to Valdez Narrows beneath the midnight sun. One hundred vessels took to the water, pushed through a storm, and to the Valdez Sea we lined up our boats, formed a blockade, and we waited for whatever might be. A tanker was approaching. It was a sight to see there in the twilight of the day. We saw it turning. We all cheered and cried as tanker after tanker after tanker turned away. A Coast Guard gunship from Seattle would take three days to get up to the sound. We held the line until then. Then we went back home to Cordova to this hallowed oiled ground. I am a fisherman. So were my parents here in Cordova on Prince William Sound.